Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a like. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for watching. I know we've been gone for a while, but we are currently working on a rebrand and working on new products. Today, I just wanted to show you guys um, me filling up a couple of samples of the new products that we will be having on our website. Um, right now, you see me filling up our chocolate wasted coffee scrub it has all natural cocoa powder and coffee grounds so that the skin is nicely exfoliated and kept very moisturized these little containers you see me using I just got them from the dollar store and they're about um, 2.3 two and a half ounces so they're really little small containers it doesn't hold a lot it's just really just a sample so that people can try it out In between you'll see me um, just sanitize and wipe the surface down so that nothing is sticky and nothing is cross contaminated next I'm going to be filling up some sample containers with body butters um, I really struggled trying to use the piping bag I don't know if it's the brand I used or what it was but I realized as I started to squeeze the body butter out the bag would burst and it just was not working but the body butter you see right here is our matching chocolate wasted cocoa body butter so it matches the chocolate wasted scrub except it doesn't have the coffee so it just has shea butter and cocoa powder and it's very moisturizing as well and it also helps with the elasticity in the skin and helping to tighten the skin and keep it looking young I was struggling so bad with the piping bag that I just decided to take the nozzle out and just use a spoon and just put everything inside manually with my hand. So this is what it came out looking like and then I just gradually used the back of a spoon and just filled up the containers until I was satisfied. Next, I'm going to be filling up some squeeze tubes with our Fruit Punch Lip Scrub. The flavor are orange, strawberry, kiwi, and watermelon. It's very exfoliating and it's made with natural sugar and oils to help also lighten. I decided to put them in squeeze tubes because I feel like it would be less mess if they were in tubes versus jars. And then I just got that um, lipstick stand from the dollar store next to me and I'm just going to use that to help me um, apply the scrubs inside and then I just filled the syringe up with all of the scrubs and then that's how I inputted it into the tubes. I'm still working on an easier way to put the sugar scrubs inside the tubes. I realized that it is a little hard to push the sugar through the syringe. So you see me doing like this pumping motion because that's the best way I can get the sugar out without draining all the oil. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm just kind of taking the syringe and pumping the scrub into the squeeze tube. Now I'm just going to wipe them down with a clean napkin before I put the stoppers in and put the caps on because I don't want them to be sticky or feel um, messy so I'm just wiping them down and making sure that there's no oil or sugar on the outside. And here are our fruit punch lip scrubs that will be on the website soon for the rebrand as well. I'm just going to wipe off the excess sugar that was left behind before I start to work on our next product which will be our sour belt body butter which is made with shea butter and sweet almond oil. It's also green apple flavored or scented I should say watermelon scented and blue raspberry scented this one is very fun I feel like anyone could wear this even kids it's like kids safe it has a little um, glitter pigment so you do get a little sparkle a little shine to it it's very fun especially spring is coming so it's something cute to have with you on the go especially to keep the skin moisturized so I had a little bit of luck the second time around using the piping bag 
bag I realized it was easier to use it without a tip and then here you just see me taking a spoon and smoothing the top out because I didn't like the pattern that the piping bag was making because I just cut a regular hole in it so I'm just smoothing it out with a spoon and then wiping the excess shea butter off of the side so that I can put the caps on is the final sample of sour bell i hope you guys enjoyed this short video i'm very excited to bring these new products and this new b brand here's another look at everything that we have to offer don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also follow us on instagram to be notified when we rebrand bye and they just have my smudge.